played 17 minutes tonight. You seem to be moving well. How does the ankle feel after that? Uh, it's a little sore. Uh, <laughs> definitely going to get some treatment after this. But basketball, I don't really feel it. It's just my general running. Uh, I'm just, just determined to just go out there and just, just hoop. So I'm definitely going to get some treatment. Uh, just glad we came out with the win. Dante, obviously, you've been out 10 games. Jordan is Having you guys both on the floor and the way this team looked, is that kind of what y'all envisioned going into this year? Um, I just feel like we just bring um, a different level of physicality. Um, mm -hmm. Just both of us being, you know, strong, um, physical, and uh, just helping the team in, in just any kind of way we can. Um, I feel like we just both play, play, play with a lot of physicality. So, yeah, definitely. Coach Bennett talked about your competitiveness watching those 10 games from the bench, particularly the road games. Did you feel like that was something maybe the team was lacking that you could contribute when you got back? I'll repeat that. Sorry. Just your competitiveness. Did you think that was something you could really help the team in that area when you got back? Um, definitely. Um, just me just being a dog. Um, honestly, just that. Um, me and my father, we put in countless hours when I was younger. And uh, just everything just starting to pay off. Um, I'm always do what I can to help the team win any, any kind of way I can. So, definitely. You guys were pretty sharp offensively, sharp defensively. I know this game was at home. How do you take what you guys did today and take it on the road where, where things haven't gone as smoothly? Um, go back to the drawing board. Um, obviously, watch film tomorrow, see what we can definitely improve on. Um, and just continue to play hard, play together. Um, obviously, when we home, we, we play with a lot of energy. But, you know, on the road, we got to, you know, take that same mentality to the different um, opponents and, and just go to work. Great. How can you compliment Reese, you guys playing together off one another? Uh, and is it something that, that you're comfortable with? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to, just to help the team win. Whether that's go in when he tired, go in when to help the team win, whatever. I'm just, just help the team win. Um, I love playing with him. I feel like we play good together. Uh, we, you know, push each other in practice each and every day. So um, I feel like it's just showing on, on the floor. Your coach said you didn't get much practice before coming into tonight. So well, what was your confidence level coming like today? Oh, 100%. Um, I ain't never lacking confidence, never. Um, I got a great coaching staff, great teammates that believe in me, and my father believe in me. So, and most importantly, the Lord. So, I mean, if I got all, all that, I'm, I'm going to be good each and every time I step on the floor. You had a severe ankle sprain. Had you ever had that injury before or that severe? Um, definitely not this severe. Um, I definitely had a, a sprain back when I was at um, my previous school, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't this bad. Um, this one was pretty bad, obviously. Um, put me out for a long time, but I'm glad to be back. For sure. Even when you were out, you saw the work that Jordan Minor was putting in. Um, what's it been like to see him kind of fight through that slow start and, and have this kind of a performance? Amazing, man. I'm happy for him um, just to see he work each and every day um, real hard at his craft. He don't, he don't um, what I say, when, when things don't go his way or when he don't get as many uh, minutes, he don't, he don't get down or get to himself. He's still in the game, still encouraging the teammates. So that's what I really like about him. So I'm glad that his moment is finally um, here and uh, he's, he's putting on a, a good performance for you guys. Great. Yeah, after missing the last 10, what was it like for you to hear the crowd after you make the pass to Jordan and he dunks it and then you get the layup late to, to keep separating? Oh man, it feels good, man. Just just to be back on the floor is just, it's just a moment I couldn't wait for. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely was hard. Um, just getting treatment countless hours. Um, times where, you know, I, I got a little down, just, I just want to hoop, man. So just, just to be back out there, man, that's just a, a dream for real. And I'm just I'm glad we was able to come out with the win versus our rival. So. Jordan, has knowing that you're going to get extended minutes and you can play through some mistakes, has that allowed you to kind of relax and, and be more confident on the court? Um, I think so. I think just that and just knowing that my teammates just want to see me succeed and just trying to come out here and get the W, especially against um, big rivalry against Virginia Tech. Uh, but my teammates give me confidence and the coaching staff. So I'll probably say those two are the biggest things for me. When I talked to you, when, when you uh, committed, you, you 
this is kind of what you envisioned in terms of your role and what you could bring. Is this what you expected this team to kind of look like tonight, the way you played on, on both ends of the floor? Um, I think we still got some things to figure out as a team. I think we were much more disciplined today than we have been in the past, but we still got some steps to go. So I think it's, it's a step, definitely a step in the right direction for sure. Jordan, Lynn Kidd averages 15 points a night. He leads the ACC in shooting percentage. He didn't even get a shot until early in the second half. What was your defensive approach? Um, I mean, I think Coach reiterated to us uh, before we went out there just imposing our will um, collectively and individually. Individually, I think me, I think I know, you know, he likes to spin and um, shot fix a lot. So I was just disciplined and staying down on that and trying to contest and make him work for every single bucket that he got. So that's, that, that was my focus. This was your first experience with this rivalry. What was it like? And who is Merrimack's big rival? And how did those, how did those games go for you? Right. It was definitely a great experience out there. I mean, as soon as you got out there in warm-ups, you kind of felt the energy. Um, so it was a great experience, uh, especially, especially to get out there with the dub. Um, I know it was home court, but it felt like, you know, both sides were kind of going back and forth, but I'm just glad we got a, a win. And I think, I mean, Merrimack, probably after you, uh, I'd probably say that's the biggest rival for Merrimack. Yeah, back when I was back there. Yeah, and just that second half shot starting to fall, it looked like you were getting pretty fired up. Just how much fun were you having out there? Um, I think I, I, was, I was having a lot of fun. I think uh, for me, just letting the game come to me uh, was the biggest thing. And then, you know, I kind of fed off the energy in the building. So I was definitely having fun, excited, and trying to do everything that I could for us to come out and get the win. Jordan, are you naturally a patient person? And was your patience tested at all when you were not playing? Um, I would definitely say I'm a patient person. I think this experience has just opened my eyes and just um, has blessed me. I thank God for this experience, um, even though it was hard at times. Um, knowing that he put me in the right place despite um, what was going on, knowing that he surrounded me with amazing coaching staff and amazing uh, teammates was something that you know I'm blessed to say that I've experienced. And they've kind of helped me stay encouraged. And just leaning on my faith has helped me stay encouraged. Um, I would definitely say it's definitely taught me a lot and just, you know, keep going in each and every day and kind of laying, laying a brick day by day and just knowing that when your uh, number is called that you got to be ready. And I just wanted to be ready for my team and for my uh, uh, teammates and coaching staff. So. You said this performance for the team was better, but there's still you know, room to improve. How do you take what happened out there today on, onto the road? Because that's been such a struggle for this group. Right. I mean, I think for us, I mean, one of the biggest things, especially on the road, is kind of stopping runs and stopping, um, especially stopping runs, I think, is one of the biggest things for us. And I mean, Virginia Tech made their run today, and we were kind of able to stop that. So I think just being able to carry that over um, ahead to Georgia Tech is going to be something that's going to be big. And then just collectively just staying together. I think uh, today we stayed together a lot more, especially on those runs. And we kind of calmed down and stayed together. I mean, Reese kind of led us in that. And I think we just got to carry that over to uh, Georgia Tech and the games you know, after that. Last one, Yeah, what Dante give you guys tonight? I mean, I'm so, I mean, I talk about my experience a lot, but his experience is also um, telling in itself, I think. You know, just being injured early is something that's hard. And like I said, brick by brick, by brick what I've been doing, he's been doing the same thing, um, kind of going to work behind the scenes. And I'm just so happy for him. And he just gives us a lot of energy. Energy. I mean, today he did um, with some nice passes. And, you know, I think a bucket when he rejected the screen. So, I mean, I'm so happy for him because he's, you know, like I said, been working. It's been hard uh, with his ankle. But, I, I mean, he's, he, he gives us a big boost. Um, especially, you know, kind of get Reese off the ball a little bit. So he definitely gives us a big boost. Thank you, guys. Thank you.